हे गाइस हाउ आर यू ऑल माय नेम इज हर्षित द्विवेदी फ्रेंड्स एंड आई वेलकम यू बैक टू माय वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो फ्रेंड्स आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग विद यू दिस कांसेप्ट ऑफ हाउ टू फाइंड आउट दैट व्हाट इज द वेरिएशन बिटवीन टू लैटिट्यूड्स एंड टू लॉन्गिट्यूड्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ डिस्टेंस सो व्हाट इज द डिस्टेंस वेरिएशन बिटवीन टू लैटिट्यूड्स फ्रेंड्स एंड टू लॉन्गिट्यूड सो दिस इज बेसिकली द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस वीडियो द बेसिक इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट लैटिट्यूड्स एंड लॉन्गिट्यूड्स आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन इन अ सेपरेट वीडियो द लिंक ऑफ दैट वीडियो आई विल गिव इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो सो बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो काइंडली वॉच दैट वीडियो इफ यू आर नॉट श्योर अबाउट वॉट लैटिट्यूड्स एंड लॉन्गिट्यूड्स आर दिस इज द बेसिक पार्ट गोइंग ऑन बट स्टिल फ्रेंड्स डोंट थिंक दैट दिस बेसिक पार्ट इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इजी इट इज गोइंग टू बी अ बिट चैलेंजिंग वेन आई विल गो डीप इन साइड द कंसेप्ट फ्रेंड्स so this is presented by me if you want to follow me the link of my instagram profile is given in the description box below also friends <clears throat> this video is in english if you want to watch the hindi version of the video the link of the hindi version of the video is also given in the description box below friends okay so let's start with it see a figure is shown here okay now in this figure you can see friends that two longitudes are shown so these are two longitudes now naturally looking at these longitudes you can understand friends that the distance between these two longitudes is highest when it is at the equator and as these longitudes are going towards the poles friends the distance between these two longitudes is decreasing and when they will reach either the north pole or the south pole the distance between both of these longitudes will become zero so this is the fact friends that in between two latitudes the distance variation will not that will not be that much great but when we will talk about longitudes the distance between two longitudes friends will be highest as the equator and it will become zero at the poles now what is that exact distance this is what we are going to talk about so before that i'm going to tell you some basic information about latitudes they are known as parallels if you don't know they run in east west direction you can see they are running in this east west direction and obviously if the distance between two latitudes will be measured then obviously it will not be measured in the east west direction it will be measured in the north west direction because see suppose this this latitude and this latitude so distance will be this so obviously north west direction north south direction obviously these latitudes are always parallel to each other they never intersect with each other they are concentric circles that are why they are called as parallels friends and they intersect with the longitudes that is the meridians at right angles that is 90 degree <clears throat> okay friends and equator is the longest uh, latitude now coming forward on longitude what are longitudes friends they are also known as meridian they run in a north south direction see they are running in this north south direction they go around the whole earth friends also <clears throat> they are farthest from each other at the equator because at the equator see this is the equator so here suppose this is the longitude and this is the longitude so this is the distance between but as soon as this equator longitude will go here it will meet here so distance between them will become zero so the distance between two longitudes is in the east west direction and it is highest at the equator and as soon as it goes towards the pole the distance becomes equals to zero all the longitudes are equal in length to each other and they are basically the halves of great circle because each longitude divides a perfect uh, divides the earth into two half so that is why they are known as halves of great circle so this is the basic information about latitudes and longitudes now we will see at <coughs> the distances friends now we are going to calculate the distance friends so the distance between two latitudes near the equator will be 68.706 miles and in kilometers it will be 110.567 kilometers whereas the distance between the two latitudes at the poles will be 69.41 miles or 111.699 km so you can see friends that the distance between the two latitudes at the pole is a little bit more it is 111.699 km and at the equator it is around 110.567 km so it is little bit more at the poles friends whereas when we talk about longitudes so for longitudes the distance between two longitudes at the equator is somewhere around 111.32 km how this 111.32 km came that i will be calculating in the next slide and in miles it is 69.18 miles and as soon as these longitudes will move towards the poles friends the distance between two uh, these two longitudes will go on reducing and reducing and at the poles they will meet each other and the distance will reduce to 0 km and now see friends 
these longitudes are basically the measurement are basic their main function is the measurement of time because with respect to this longitude the time is measured i have already told you in the previous video that in 1884 an international meridian conference took place in greenwich london and there the royal astronomical observatory was set as the base the standard point and now from that royal astronomical observatory east and west distances of the respective meridians will be calculated and according to them the time will be calculated because the earth is also rotating in a east west direction okay friends so this is what is happening okay so you can say friends that the distance between two longitudes okay is highest as the equator so at the equator for longer distances time variation will be there but as we will move towards the pole for lesser uh, distances time duration time uh, you know variation will be high for example you can say friends that at uh, the equator you are seeing friends that for 111.32 kilometers there is 1 degree okay for 111.32 now how this 111.32 kilometers came let us have a look at it see the length of the equator is around 40000 75 kilometers now when you are going to divide it by 360 degrees because this is a whole circle so there will be 360 lines of longitude so when you are going to divide this 40075 by 360 it will give us 111.319 kilometers which is approximately equals to 111.32 kilometers so for every 1 degree longitude the distance is 111.32 kilometers friends okay and if you are going to divide it uh, uh, you know in respect of time so in one day friends you can see the whole revolution is taking place one day is equals to 24 hours the angular distance is 360 degree so you divide this 360 by 24 and you will get 15 degree per hour friends so it says that for every 111.32 kilometers at the equator is the distance between two longitudes but as we move towards the pole that distance gets reduced to 0 kilometers that is simple because at the poles the two longitudes are meeting each other but friends when we talk about latitudes why the latitude distance between two latitudes is less at equator and more at pole so this is one thing that we are going to explore now see friends the reason for this is is that our earth has an equatorial bulge our earth is not a perfect sphere so if it is not a perfect sphere it is having a slightly higher equatorial bulge and in order to compensate that equatorial bulge bulge there is slight flattening at the poles so at the equator there is a bulge you can see in this figure so at the equator there is a bulge and for compensating it there is a flattening at the poles here and here so by this what happens that the diameter of the earth at the equator becomes higher which is somewhere around 12756.28 km and the same diameter of the equator at the poles will become 12713.56 km so the distances of the diameter becomes unequal that is so that is this diameter becomes more than this diameter okay now if this diameter becomes more and this becomes less so obviously upper side flattening is there so if this becomes less the upper side distance will increase and obviously if this becomes more the upper side distance will reduce so that is why due to equatorial bulge the distance at the surface reduces because diameter is increasing similarly for because of the flattening at the poles what is happening that the distance at the surface of the poles is increasing and this is the reason friends that the distance between two latitudes at the poles is higher than the distance between two latitudes at the equator i will again understand you explain it friends diameter at equator is this much at poles it is this much there is difference is around 42 km so that is why there is a flattening at the poles and consequently there is a bulge at the equator so that bulge friends is making the distance at the surface less and that flattening at the poles is making the distance on the surface more so because of these two comparisons friends if we are going to distribute that distance in latitude 1 degree latitude at pole is going to give me more distance and 1 degree latitude at equator is going to give me less distance so this is the simple logic how this is happening that why at poles the latitudes 
two latitudes is having more distance and equator it is having less distance and why the longitudes have highest amount of distance in between them at the equator and towards pole they are reducing to zero you can also adjust it with the time 360 degree divided by 24 hours so that i will be discussing in a separate video friends this is not the topic of this video so don't confuse it with here just uh, remain focused on this topic that distances between latitudes and longitudes so i will finish my topic here friends i hope this video was liked by you if this video was really liked by you friends kindly like this video subscribe to my channel share this video with more and more of your friends and please tell me through the comment section below that why you are like whether you are liking this video or not friends because it takes a lot of effort to make it so if you are going to share it it will be a big help so thank you friends have a great day goodbye